of our weather. Hey, Maddie. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, everyone at home. The severe weather has diminished somewhat for today. As we show you the national picture, you can see there's a high, an area of high pressure in the Midwest, bringing mostly sunny skies. The southwest is pretty nice as well. We do have the usual precipitation in the Pacific Northwest, but here's our swath of rain and just that one little area of severe weather. It's going to be mostly a rain event. Seven states are going to experience some flash flooding throughout the day. Elsewhere in the nation, the Southern Plains finally gets a brief reprieve of precipitation or severe weather so that should help with the cleanup efforts it's going to be very sunny today temperatures in the 70s and 60s and then along the eastern seaboard take a look at this these temperatures are well above normal in the 90s in the mid-atlantic 80s and 70s in the northeast that's a look at the weather across the nation now let's see what's happening right outside your window thanks so much that's your latest weather now here's erica Maddie, thanks. Just ahead, for the 50 million Americans living with arthritis, exercise makes arthritis and exercise. One in every five adults has arthritis symptoms that can make it painful just to move, let alone working out. Yet doctors, including medical correspondent Dr. Jennifer Atkins, say the right kind of exercise is actually the best thing for your aching joints. This nope. is kind of a tough pill for a lot of folks to swallow. What is it? I think 40% of arthritis sufferers say it's just too painful to do any physical right. activity. So how could exercise actually help? Well, it's a little counterintuitive because as you you say the last thing you want to do is do something that causes pain. But first from arthritis. Great stuff as always. Jen, thanks. You bet. Uh, stay with us. We'll be right back. You're watching The Early Show on CBS. CBS Health Watch has one final check of weather. Maddie? Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, everyone at home. We want to show you the severe weather for today. Uh, not as severe as we've seen in the past four days. And you can see this very stationary front continues to crawl. Right now it's around the Ohio River Valley. So again, we're looking at baseball size hail. We're looking at winds that could clock at 60 miles per hour. And we're also looking at rain, a lot of it. There are seven states that will have some sort of flood watch or warning throughout the day. By severe contrast, take a look at the West Coast. In the Pacific Northwest, we expect this type of weather, a rain about a half an inch to an inch of rain. The temperatures are also below normal, uh, just reaching into the 50s. The southwest is absolutely gorgeous and balmy. This weather expects to stay this way at least through the weekend. Your high temperatures, not too shabby. 81 in New York, 69 in Kansas City, 57 in Seattle. That's a look at the weather across the nation. Now let's see what's happening right outside your window. If you are one of the millions of smartphone users who put your photos online, you may be posting a lot more than just images. Early show consumer correspondent Susan Copen is here with a serious warning, and it seems everybody is using their phone to post pictures nowadays. It's happening all the time. So with the touch of a button, you can show the world your photos, but you can also be revealing information you may not want to share, like the exact location of where you live, work, play, and go on vacation. And it's interesting to note that our expert had never tried to read the location of a picture before, but he said it took him a total of 10 minutes to get the right program off the internet and then learn how to do it. And once we posted our pictures, it took him less than 30 seconds per picture to find my locations, Erica. That's just creepy to use one word yeah. to describe it. So we saw briefly in, in, in your piece, the expert was showing us how to turn off these settings so people can't figure out where you are. Walk us through that if you would. Okay, so we used an iPhone to take our picture. So what you're gonna do, make sure it's on off. I'll be doing that as soon as we finish here. Susan, All thanks. Right. Now here's Chris. Eric. We know that's not really it. No. No. We will, right. we will meet Oprah again. Yeah, she's going to take a little time off. Then there will be a massive call to have her come back, I'm sure. Yes. They will be begging. Because the stations really do have a voice. Stations around the country, that, that prime hour where they could rely on Oprah viewers mm -hmm. being there for advertisers and both for, yeah. for viewership at the stations is now gone. And now it's a big test as to what can replace that, that one hour. It's going to be tough. But again, not going away. She has her own cable network. She has a True, network. that she's now going to devote more time to. I will yes. say, I spent a good chunk of my preteen years coming home from school, doing social studies, and watching her. Mm -hmm. I mean, crying. she... I, I was just I don't watching know if I cried, but... Bell. <laughs> You were watching Saved by the Bell. Say but say I've been no for years. Had him, she had Until I got too mark. busy with kids, probably, yeah, just absolutely. like you. But I, absolutely. And she, she continues to. Work. I remember my mother calling me when I was in college and saying, she had just seen on Oprah that if anybody ever attacked me, yell fire, don't <laughs> yell no, because they won't come. She's like, I just watched it on yeah. Oprah. Yeah. See? Or how many Cheryl, books people you. started reading. Yeah. yeah. Because Oprah said. Appointment mm. television. In my 40s, and I've been watching for a long, long time yeah. myself. You're in your 40s. Oh, I know. It doesn't look it, does it? We'll be right back. <laughs> the early show.
We've got quite a list. Yeah, so I, I, I think every movie that, that <laughs> was made previously has a sequel out this summer. They, they, say these movie makers, movie. they say these movie makers are lazy. They're just going back and... <laughs> Maybe and you know what? We are buying into it. We sure are. Because Looking we're for... all sitting here making our plans. Yeah, That's yeah. it. We want to see The Hangover 2. We want to yes. see Cars 2. Kung, Kung, Kung Fu Panda 2. 2. Bring on some Jack Sparrow any day. Yes. Yeah. And Jack Black. Harry Potter. I, and I, Jack Black. I have to confess, I've never seen a single Pirates of the Caribbean. So oh. I'm thinking, I know, don't judge. Johnny I may Depp. do a map. I know, he's cute, but whatever. They're each like four and a half hours long. I'm going to do a marathon and then maybe... It's on the water. Shoot. They're in a boat. You're going to find on your desk when we're done up here, Chris has put together a nice package of the original Pirates of the Caribbean nice. so you can get caught up to this nice. weekend. You can go Trainer. see it. <laughs> So there you go. If you're not at a barbecue out there somewhere this weekend, you could be at the movies, yes. or you could listen to Jeff do impressions. Or you I recommend could the movie. Set up a movie yes. theater in the back. Yeah, yeah. I, true, very true. And basically, we've just given you every movie that's playing up until about <laughs> Christmas. So go out there and enjoy, and have a wonderful day. And if you're getting started on your weekend, enjoy. Hopefully, we'll see you tomorrow. Your local news is next. There. Ciao.